I've placed the car in a little holding vise so that we can observe the uh, action of the line following modules. So power on, power on. Okay, it looks like we can see that we already have a problem. Um, this line module uh, is detecting something. You can see its lights on. What I have here is just a white uh, card with a piece of black tape on it. And if I hold this black tape over the sensor, you can see that the sensor is illuminating the LED and it's changing the way the car wheels turn. So, so it looks like we have two line sensor uh, working and this one not working. It turns out that the mistake I had was that I was plugging one of the line sensors uh, into uh, 13, into the GPIO 13 of the Arduino. Apparently that GPIO 13 doesn't work for digital rights. So what I did was I moved the line tracking sensor that I had on 13, I moved it to 10 which is where we pulled the green wire from obstacle avoidance car. So now take, take your line tracking sensor cable that was on 13 and move that to 10. When you move that uh, line tracking sensor to 10 you also have to go into the code and change the digital write signal for num1 to 10. And that will make the correction in the software. So go ahead and do that and upload it to the car. Now that the new code with the line tracking sensor moved to GPIO 10 is loaded in the car. Let's turn on the car. You can now see that the light, lights on the line tracking sensors are all off. We're going to take this that I made with the black tape on it and we're going to use it as if the car were following directly on the line. So right here you can see that the two sensors that are looking at the white part of the paper are illuminated and the center sensor is not. So when it's following that line, it's moving forward with both wheels. You can see, if we get off to one side, the wheels are going one direction, and it's trying to turn to steer back onto the tape. And as it steers to the tape here, you can see it then it's turning the wheels to try to get back centered on the tape like that. Now you have your line tracking car working. That concludes the videos. Uh, hope you enjoyed them. Uh, hope that you don't have any trouble with your robot. But if you do, that's when you learn things. So I take that back. I hope that you, ha you do have trouble with your robot and you have to figure out how to fix it. And feel free to send me uh, any questions that you might have over the YouTube channel.